What animal fishes for its food? Well, we need to go for a dive to find out. And I have this schmancy mask, which is gonna help me talk while I'm diving. Here's a clue. They're the world hide and seek champion. They love seafood. Have a fishing rod on their face. Look like seaweed. Have no teeth. Swallow prey whole and have webbed hands. Meet the tasseled angler, one of the most extraordinary fish I've ever seen, but also without a doubt, one of the most difficult fish to find. And the reason they're so tricky to find is they look exactly like where they live. When trying to find a tasseled angler is like playing hide and seek, but it is without a doubt the hide and seek champion. Even when it's swimming out in the open, it actually looks like a bit of floating seaweed. And when it sits there, it just disappears into the surrounding seaweed and sponges. When it comes to the camouflage of the tasseled angler, it's so elaborate. If you look closely, you can actually see on its eyes, they actually have tasseled and camouflaged across their eyeball. So, so well camouflaged, they just disappear and they're a real treat to find. It's kind of like Christmas for me when I find one out in the wild. They look like a big bit of floating seaweed, even when they're moving. And what's interesting, when they're moving, you can actually see their fins are actually webbed. And they're kind of like hands, which they help to move them around. They're not the greatest swimmers, but they don't have to be. Because their camouflage is so elaborate, they can pretty much just sit there and hide from predators. Now this fish... I really love because it just sits there and it lets the food come to it. And there's a reason they're called tassel anglers. It's because they angle or they fish. So there are fish that fishes for other fish. With a rod and worm-like lure that sews to its face. So it'll sit there and I'll extend its rod. At the end of that rod is a little worm-like lure, which it wiggles to attract prey. Now, it feeds super, super quickly. If you blink, you'll miss it feeding. Now, any fish that's silly enough to take the bait gets gobbled up whole. No, no time for chewing, just one big gulp. Now, we actually filmed this in high speed or slow motion, so we can actually see and try and measure how quick it feeds. And boy, is it quick. What we also discovered is that the tasseled angler actually swallows its own rod and worm-like bait. But, being the ultimate recycler, it's got a groove in its top lip, lets the rod and worm-like bait flick back up so I can continue fishing again, which is ingenious if you ask me. That's just another reason why I love these spectacular looking fish. Here, this angler actually has a batch of baby angler eggs and it's something that I have never, ever seen before. I'm so incredibly excited. Now, they're like these little yellow dots. Look like they've got those little white with black tails on the end. And if you look really closely, you can actually see the tiny little baby anglers developing. And you can see the yolk set. And what it looks like is, looks like the female must lay the eggs in a series of strands because some of the eggs are actually connected. 
again something that we didn't know about the anglers. And looking, you can see that, you can see their mouths, you can see their eyes. Some of them are doing acrobatics in the air, but it doesn't look like they have the tassels yet. So I'm thinking they've probably got a little bit more development to go. And by telling by the yolk, they've probably got perhaps another couple of weeks. Again, it's extraordinary. And you would think that they would have to have the tassels when they hatched, being really tiny. Lots of fish would love to gobble them up. So by having those tassels, as soon as they've hatched, will help them to disappear seamlessly into the surroundings and will give them an increased chance of survival. That was absolutely amazing. I'm always seeing something new every time I get in the water. As you can see, these fuzzy wuzzy little fish are really tricky to find, which probably explains why we know so little about them. We still don't know how many times the adults lay eggs, and we don't know how long they live for. That's just the nature of science.